Hello, Colt. Yes, please, mate. Maybe another time. Right, let's go for a walk. Uh, we move this it's hey. the end to car. Hey. Hey.
Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, got a uh, couple more
as a gift. Oh, okay. 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 He said he could get six into it, and I said, don't work like that. He said, Top, 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 Yeah, yeah, he'll do the ashes, guys. So, so, you know, for me, I didn't know. Gentlemen, when you're ready, set, please. Thank you. Praise the Lord. The reason why we are here is the final journey for Teresa. But the main Teresa is not here. When we come to the graveside, we go back to the Bible, Genesis chapter 1. 
The Bible says in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. That was the creating part. Verse 11, God spoke to the land for the trees and the flowers to come. We were not part of it. Verse 14, God spoke to the firmament for light. We were not there. Verse 20, God spoke to the sea for the fishes, the tilapias and everything came. We were not there. Verse 24, God spoke to the land for the beast to come. The goat beat the lion. But verse 26, when the Bible says, God said, Come, let us make. In the making part, God went to the ground and formed a man. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7 says, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust. And the Lord breathed into the nostril of man, and man became a living soul. So, the, what we are going to bury here is not the main Teresa. Teresa may be standing here with us, but she doesn't have that accommodation, that body that we have. That's the importance of this place. So wherever you are, stretch your hands on the grave. As I asked Pastor Keith, the person in charge of Church of the Farm and St. Francis. Francis and Tottenham Hill. It's the Church of England and it's also part of the family. Pastor, we pray, pray, the opening prayer, please. Oh God, for your grace, for your mercy. We thank you for the life of Teresa. We ask now that with humble adoration and respect for the family and friends, we pray for a safe passage for Teresa to the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who alone lived, died, and was raised again. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Abide with me, fast for the evening tide. The dark night is Lord with me, abide when others are and comfort help of the helpless who abide in me abide with me again abide with me fast for the evening time the darkness deep is Lord with me abide when others help help fill and comfort flee help of the helpless who abide For the committer, let's share something from Second Samuel chapter 14, verse 14. We my knees die and we are, are as water spit upon the ground. We can never be guarded after the game. Death setting. Death stares in phases upon all sides. The fields, the other day were green, then they are brown. The tree that stood by you, by you, and all last year, was a thing of beauty. Now nothing is left but the old lifeless trunk. In our childhood, there were strong men 
who were wonders to us because of their deeds of manly strength. Where are they now? Go read their names on the gravestones or see them pass by the gate with the cave and death written in every lineament of their faces. So God teaches in his word, all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man are the flower of grass. The grass withered and the flower thereof falls away. Often sudden, read the columns of the newspapers and notice how many have ferried, ferried into eternity. How few really expect death when it comes. God will teach us that life is brief, but a hand breath, a vapor, a flower of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. That is, end is uncertain. Christ said that he will come as a thief in the night. Ye know not what shall be tomorrow. Death ends all. Water split upon the ground, we can never be gathered up again. Dive was told a great gulf, which was fixed. The foolish virgin found the door shut for all eternity. It is appointed unto man wants to die, but after death, judgment. A preparation necessary. All realize this as far as this world goes, but few seem to realize the importance when the next world is taken into consideration. We fail to understand that the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal and need to be prepared. Because we are strong, it, is, it seems to us that we shall live here always, and we fail to heed Christ's word. Be also ready. How, how we are to make this preparation? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. John 14 says, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy self they comfort me. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? Thank be to God who give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Conclusion. There come with reckless footsteps to the hall and heart. Think you death will tarry, knocking where the door is shut. Therefore, be ye also ready. Amen. Amen. You have to be ready. For death is part of our life. Man born of a woman, you are subject to die. That's why the God is disappointed. So today, it's not only Teresa going, we all are going. It's not a case for her to die. It's part of life. Man born to die. One day, where are you going? You heard the story of the rich man and Lazarus. The Bible says Lazarus died and he was carried away by the angels. And when the rich man died, it ended him in the, the fire. Today is a preparation. Wherever you are, stretch your hands upon the grave. I thank God for the life. Now, before the committer, I want the tribute from the, the family to be read. The family. And the nieces and the also to be ready. Thank you for your us. Tribute by the family. Teresa was a beloved member of the great Pinanko Oyoko family of Akromasi and Kasem. Teresa brought so much joy and love to all of us. As a family, we no, no, shall always you are not, you are not, remember you are her as someone who always cared for others. Teresa had a deep connection to her hometowns of Apromasi and Kasem. She cherished her rich culture and traditions. This account for her great skills in the traditional Adwa dance of the Asante people from her early, day, early life. As a family, 
we have found memories of Teresa's enthusiasm for life which were well showcased. Whenever she visits home in Ghana, she was always on hand to organize and bring everyone together. Her sense of humor and infectious, infectious, infectious smile are some of her qualities we will miss forever. Teresa's determination and resilience are ex exceptional. She handled challenging situations with grace and never gave up. She was our source of inspiration. Teresa was always encouraging us, the junior family members, to pursue our dreams and, and never to lose hope. Her person has left a void in our heart as a family, but her memories live on. Teresa, we shall continue to celebrate your life and the impact you had on us. We are grateful for the time we had together and the lessons you taught us about love, forgiveness, kindness, and the importance of family unity. We shall forever miss you. Teresa, rest peacefully in the bosom of your maker. Amen. Amen. The nephews and the niece. Auntie was always full of life and enjoyment. She loved good parties. She had great taste and an eye for detail and beautiful things. I take peace in knowing she is now at rest with the Lord. I will cherish my memories of her, especially in her happy state. Auntie, rest well till we meet again. Amen. Who's next? Auntie Teresa loved having a good time. I'll never forget the parties and birthdays at Broadwater Farm, some of which I was privileged to be present as a little girl, and also how she was able to bring the community together on such occasions. I'll never forget your stylish outfits. and your beautiful hairstyles. You are truly a beautiful woman inside and out. Auntie, rest peacefully with your makeup. Amen. Auntie Teresa was a woman who had a great sense of humor. I remember when I first came into the country and went to visit her. I will always be showering like I had somewhere to go just to stay at home and she seemed to be observing me for a while. On my way for one of my routine third bath of the day, Auntie Teresa smiled retortedly. Mame, Chrome had the jari jari piece out. Auntie, I will forever miss your great sense of humor. Auntie Daye. Amen. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 25. She is clothed with she's clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. Strength, dignity, and laughter are the three words I would use to sum up my auntie. Why should you notice you've got a guardian of this caliber on your side? You tend not to foresee your passing. Our private talks, which I enjoy the most, will always be guarded in my heart. Dear auntie. I personally want to thank you for the lessons you taught me with and without the belt. And your passing eight, you weren't prepared for it and you brought a lot of fear. But you'll find peace knowing you're resting with the ancestors and God, a God who doesn't make mistakes. Auntie Teresa, Daye. Thank you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like thee. I was once lost, but now I'm found.
was blind, but now I see. Praise God, 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 praise God. the committer I just want to thank all of you for taking the time to come and support the family and ever since Teresa died and people have been giving the children great support people like Pukua, Tina, Andy, Linda and everyone who have been supporting the family and Auntie Aku uh, who is uh, Tony Blair yes you have all done well and reminding you that Saturday the 16th will be the final celebration of Teresa's life on Rota Farm Estate, starting from 6 o'clock to 1 a.m. So you can join them and celebrate her life. Amen. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God, it is wise provident to take out of this world the soul of Mama Teresa as a We therefore commit her body to the ground F to F, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, here to await the general restoration, the last day, and the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This is my story, this is my song, raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, raising my Savior all the day long. Blessed as you are, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Hear your salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washing his blood. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. I am praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This, this is, is my song, praising my, my Savior, all the day long. Like we had more bits here, right? Uh, how did you get out of here? If you have any band on your hand, come and throw it today. The beer boy will say beer probably. Finally, set your hands upon the grave as we thank God for 
Jesus' life. We pray for traveling mercy to the heavenly home. The Bible says there are many mansions in my father's house. So we believe that Teresa's mansion is ready. And we pray that a death will bring a revival to the community. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for that with me. That rock and that side they comfort me. That prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. That not turn my head to foil. My car ran over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. We are going to read the flowers there and then the journey is to an end. We finish till Saturday. Let's go to the flowers. So we finish. children, Mama Tess, they say they love you. Amen. Amen. I say, who are you? <laughs> From friends and loved ones to you, all these flowers. Yeah, from, from the loved ones to you, Mama Tess to prepare your way to your destination. All these flowers, they expect that they love you and a traveling mercy to you, for you to your heavenly home. May you are so rest in peace. We pray over the flowers, Father, as we have decorated her with the flowers, the same thing that the heavenly home will be decorated. In Jesus' name, amen. Say amen. 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 So I think that's why I'm not. I mean, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. That's it. Like a family member. Yeah. Uh, on behalf of Nankoyu Kuo family, I say a very big thank you to all of you here for the love and support you have given to the family during this trying moment in our life. So thank you and we hope also that coming Saturday you come and join us at uh, the Broadway Papa, the small hall, not a big one, for us to finally uh, play or bless our sister the way we know she was. I thank you and I hope you will not give us 
got the hand in your numbers to support us. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Now, now we can go. I think the rest is for the dream tickets. They are going to do it. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, family friends, can I please now ask you to make ready this for the filling of the grave? Everyone makes their way over to this place for me. Well away from here in the place of the dangerous area. Okay, thank you very much. Just one, one. Sorry, boss.